uh, was furious. Uh, we'll talk more about that in, mo in a moment. Uh, sources also inside the campaign tell CNN this could be the death knell for the Trump campaign and that the next 48 hours will be the most consequential of the entire election. Let's talk about uh, what's happening now and the next 48 hours and bring in CNN political commentators, Clinton supporter Maria Cardona, Trump supporter Scotty Nell Hughes, along with conservative Tara Setmeyer, who is decidedly not a supporter of either. Good to have all of you this morning. Good morning, Victor. Hey, hey Scotty, I want to start with you. And I, I know that you are not happy with the words. You, you abhor the words that, that Donald Trump used. But I want to know, what is your feeling on the apology you just watched? Well, I think he apologized, which is something we have not seen yet. And to sit there and judge about the grade of it, was he sincere enough? Did he say the right words? We're not going to make everybody, I don't think he's going to make everybody happy with that. But we take the apologies that came from Hillary Clinton about insulting about the deplorables, about the emails, about her server. We take those apologies and we just say, okay, she apologized, let's move on. Uh, this, all we're, now we're going to have to sit here and, and look in, at what he said, how he said it, the tone of voice, his body language. He apologized. We'll have more of a conversation obviously going forward to it tomorrow night into the debate and if, for those of you who say well that apology wasn't enough then why did you let Hillary Clinton's apology uh, was that enough for you as well the double standard is once again very evident in this case Tara well I, I would I would challenge um, someone to go body experts and people who are experts in this in this field to analyze that video and tell us if they think that Donald Trump was sincere. Most people objectively looking at that would say that he looked, it looked like a hostage video and it looked like, you know, when you apologize, you don't qualify your apology with saying, yeah, but the other guy did it too, or the other guy was worse. That's not a sincere apology. That's where the sincerity aspect of this comes into play. Because if you honestly heartfelt believed mm. that what you did was, was so wrong, that you wouldn't go and point to go to the other guy. That's just not the way it works. So it's clear that Donald Trump got caught. So he was forced into this position. Mm. He also made the point that he said, well, I will be a better man tomorrow. So then is he acknowledging that up until yesterday that he, he wasn't a good man he, because he had all these problems? I mean, just a week ago, he was still fat shaming and going after Miss Universe after he, something that happened 20 years ago. It so is it's all, a character issue. Also it's a pattern here old. for Donald Trump. Right. I mean, it's a pattern here for him. And it's, it's not just a one-off. It's not just the one thing. And it's not just locker room banter. I mean, for anyone to sit here and try to dismiss this, as right. if it's okay. I mean, we as women have been fighting for years to make sure that that kind of talk and language is not acceptable. That kind of power play with men over women is not acceptable. Okay. So why would that be acceptable now me, for someone seeking the highest office in the land? It's let not. Let me get Maria in here. Maria? I completely agree with Tara. And look, it clearly was a non-apology apology. It was pathetic. He was clearly forced to do it by his, by his campaign handlers who know that this could be the death knell for his candidacy. And frankly, when he starts pointing to, you know, somebody else and blaming somebody else, that is an indication that he was not sincere, that the only thing he regrets was that the tape was leaked. And let's listen to his actual words. He talks about this as a distraction give me a break in the the leaked tape he uh, let's be very clear about this what he describes yeah. wanting to do to women is nothing less than sexual assault and let me let me get let me get some uh, the opinion of, of Scotty here and let's put up what David Cohen wrote in in Rolling Stone many people have described this but I think the way he wrote it is very clear and concise here Kissing and groping women without their consent is yep. sexual assault. That needs to be how every outlet talks about the Washington Post report. Scotty, do you believe what Donald Trump describes here when he says, I don't even wait? He says, when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Is he talking about, from your perspective, sexual assault? Well, there's one thing to actually say it. There's another thing to do it. And Mr. Trump has said that he was just talking about it with the boys amongst the bus, um, like the locker room. That doesn't mean that it actually happened. But is happened he describing there's been no sexual cases. assault here? From your perspective, what he's talking about, I don't even wait. I jump on him like a, and I'm not going to use the expletive because of the hour. Is he describing sexual assault from your perspective? If there was actions behind it, then I would say yes, but there's no actions that say that it backs this up. And this is, I mean, if we're going to go after every man, then let's go into every locker room. And just like John 8, 7 says to us that it, the he that it was, that it's without so, or clean, may you cast the first stone. Every uh, man is know, not running for president. Issues. 
Scotty. But Every this man was, but this was the highest office in the land. Years, this was 11 years ago, and I he agree. He was 60 years old. You cannot defend of it. He wasn't you 20. He wasn't a it. jock. 60 years old. A 60-year-old man is talking about the sexual assault. Words, Maria. All right, I'm so. not saying that, but this is something that is said <clears throat> time and time again by many within pop culture, it's within music, songs that, that we watch. Let's, let's that have, make sure hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's have Donald Trump defend himself here. Wolf Blitzer spoke with Donald Trump about not this comment, but other comments uh, back in March, uh, disparaging uh, comments he made about women. Here's what he said then. These politicians, I know them. They say far worse when they're in closed doors or where they're with a group of people that they trust. Nobody respects women more than I do. Nobody takes care of women and they take care of me. Yeah, the point he's making there, uh, Tara, is that, that there are others who, who say things like this, much like the written statement that came out in the afternoon. Uh, Donald Trump's claim that, that Bill Clinton said things much worse to him on the golf course. That doesn't make it okay. I've said this many times. We as conservatives went after Bill Clinton, and rightfully so, for what happened in the 90s. And anyone who tries to sit there and point fingers and say, yeah, but Bill Clinton did it, is a hypocrite. If you're excusing away Donald Trump's behavior, that doesn't, just because other people do it, doesn't make it okay. This is a yeah. very elementary school defense. And something else, just to put this in perspective, sure. women vote at a higher rate than men and have since the 1980s. Women make up 51% of the population. They voted at a 4% higher rate than men in 2008 and 2012, which translates to about 9.8 million more votes. This, if you want to just get down to brass tacks here, this is catastrophic for Donald Trump yeah. because most women are going to look at this and, say, and be repulsed by it, as they should be. So to sit there and try to say that, oh, this is just men being men, that is, that, first of all, that's a casting aspersions on the majority of men who are good mm -hmm. and decent men who would never speak that way about women, especially, uh, you know, married women. Um, um, it, it's just, this is not acceptable, and we should not be casting aside our character and our integrity and our standards yeah. for a political for political expediency. And to, two what other quick things. But to Tara's point. Two, two, other, two other quick Maria, Maria I'm going to give you 20 piece. seconds and then and 20 to Scotty. If, if this was an isolated incident, as inappropriate and inexcusable as it was, you know, it, it may be. But this is 30 years in the running. Let's not forget the, the, the all disgusting things he said on Howard Stern earlier, mm -hmm. earlier in his career, talking about what he would do to women, grading women's bodies, degrading them, in fact saying he doesn't respect women. And an AP report came out about how he was abusive to the women on The Apprentice. A Los Angeles Times story came yeah. out about how he wanted to fire hostesses in one of his res resorts for not mm -hmm. being pretty enough. Let's be very clear, this man and is an irredeemable pervert and sexual predator. Scotty, and our own Aaron, our really, just really quick, our own Erin Burnett last night on air confirmed that a friend of hers was in fact in a situation like that in a yeah. boardroom right. where Donald Trump popped in Tic Tacs and kissed her without her consent. So there's your, there's your, there's your Scotty, example. Scotty, you're, you're, you're the sole Trump supporter on, on the panel. I've got to give you 20 seconds. Go ahead. But to Tara's point, this is all about the female vote. And this is truly a, 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 while it's wrong, it is a distraction. This morning, no woman woke up affected by these words. What they were affected by? Are you by, kidding? Probably, sexual assault yeah. victims. Did you no, just sexual assault victims right. they're right. not. Can I finish, please, oh, ladies? Wow. Ladies, please. Hold on. Please. What they are affected by is opening up their opening up their mail and finding out that their health insurance was canceled or their premiums were doubled. Oh, what they Scotty, are affected, sweetie. No, they are. The issues Wake that are up. actually right. affecting Sorry. women today, we, this has nothing to do with. This is just a demonization you are living in of a the female world. We've got to wrap it here. I can't even answer. We've got to wrap it here. Any we, got to wrap it here but but I, I, would, I would argue that, so there were not, that, that there were more than women who were affected by those words. Yes, it doesn't affect all the women who are affected. Decent Sexual Americans were all go. Maria Cardona, wow. Tara Setmeyer, Scotty Nell Hughes, thank, <laughs> thank you so you, much Victor. for being with us this morning. All right. Christy? Hillary Clinton's relationship with Wall Street, that's been a, a constant topic, it seems, since she entered the race. But you know what? New information posted from WikiLeaks could bring a whole new perspective to that issue. We're talking about that.